Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It's Thursday, January 16th, 2014, and here's a look of what's coming up tonight. Tonight, Rand Paul says Obama's NSA panel is like a fox guarding the hen house. Then, Obama's FCC head is confronted by an angry audience over cell phone health issues. And China mobilizes 100,000 troops prepping for a Korean crisis. All that and more on tonight's InfoWars Nightly News. And welcome back. Top story headline. China mobilizes 100,000 troops in preparation for Korean Peninsula crisis. And what PLA sources are describing as an unusually high figure, China has mobilized 100,000 troops to take part in a border exercise as part of preparation for a Korean Peninsula crisis. Beijing's aggressive military posturing has intensified over recent months, with the president preparing the People's Liberation Army for war in response to U.S. aggression in the Asia-Pacific. So what's China's potential beef with the U.S.? Well, China has a monopoly on rare earth materials, something the U.S. definitely wants to get a foothold on. Also, China can control our movie markets. They can order films to be edited, such as Red Dawn and also Iron Man 3. But it's not just China that our Peace Prize president is not making friends with. You remember the Russia conflict with the Russians saying that, hey, you know, if you want to say Assad is doing things over there in Syria, you need to put out better evidence than footage of the Syrian rebels with the Al-Qaeda watermark in their video and then say that that's Assad and say that he crossed the red line. They said, no, we need more evidence than that. So, you know, we're making friends all over. It seems like we got Russia, we got China, uh, just conflicts coming around and our president is not doing too much to squash these concerns. But something our president is doing, Obama-backed Mexican troops disarm and massacre more civilians. Now, these troops are not to be confused with the Syrian rebels decapitating Christians and burning down villages. No, these are a different type of threat. Mexican troops opened fire this week on a group of civilians seeking to keep their weapons in the reign of ruthless government-linked cartels. Now, if you want an idea of what gun confiscation could look like, take a look at this. You know, and they'll say, you know, oh, look at, look at uh, England or any place else. Look at Australia. Look how low the gun violence is. Well, look how high it is in Mexico. Not only this, but we have a president who has the audacity to go down to Mexico and blame Mexican, drug got, uh, Mexican gun violence on U.S. citizens, saying that if we didn't have such uh, liberal gun laws in this country, they wouldn't have guns in Mexico, but he doesn't want to talk about Operation Fast and Furious, where his administration gave guns to Mexican drug cartels, known criminals. Nobody wants to talk about that. He just wants you to turn in all of your guns. Video. Obama's FCC had confronted over cell phone radiation. Take a look at this. Oh, how many people have to die from brain cancer before the federal government puts warning labels on cell phones? How many people, how many young ladies have to die from breast cancer because there's no warnings and they don't know and they're keeping it in their bra? Thanks for my husband's brain tumor and many others, Tom. Some of these are easier to hear. Cancer, cancer, cancer. When did the FCC go to warn innocent children about getting brain tumors? This is a sophisticated, quiet holocaust we're exhibiting. How long are you going to experiment with people's lives and have real safety snares in place? Tom, you delivered a million dollar bribe to the Obama administration, which led to your appointment. You represented the industry for 12 years, and that's all you're going to represent from here on out. You will not represent the public. You will only represent the corporation. And that's how you do it. Whether it's a city council meeting, a PTA meeting, you just have all you guys lined up, bring them one after another after another. That's the way you do it. And another way to do it is to call it like you see it. And that's exactly what Rand Paul did when he said Obama is a fox guarding the hen house. You've got a president trying to satisfy these world leaders based on reports. They've given him an earful about this. You have civil liberties as a question mark and a question also about national security. What is he going to do, Senator? Well, you know, I don't think you can expect the fox to guard the hen house. You can't expect the fox to oversee the hen house. So really, Congress needs to step up. We need to rein in the NSA. That's right. We need to rein in the NSA. And that brings us to our next story. Washington state moves to block NSA surveillance. 
Washington State Rep. Matt Shea has introduced a Fourth Amendment Protection Act that would block all unlawful NSA surveillance and lay the groundwork for other states to follow suit. Because this is what you have to do. Because I talked to a guy out in San Francisco. He said, hey, you know, I don't want to be on camera while you do your man in the street. And I said, sir, that's fine. But you know the NSA is spying on you. They can tap your phone. They can look at you on your, uh, on your laptop and all this. You know, they're tied into companies like Microsoft who make the Xbox who say you have to have a little camera on your deal to even play the games. So, sir, if you don't want to be filmed by, by me, that's fine. But the NSA will continue to film you. And we're so happy to see these efforts that actually Washington State Rep. Matt Shea will be our guest tonight. So stay tuned to the end of the show for that. Now, Nuke Commander Purge, another 34 missiles officers terminated by the Air Force. Now, we've seen this been going on since the Dias Air Force nukes went missing. A lot of people said it was conspiracy theory, but, you know, these guys are ending up fired. So that's no theory. You can call it conspiracy, but it's definitely not a theory. A few short months after two top nuke commanders in the United States were removed from for minor offenses, an additional 34 nuke missile officers have been stripped of their certification because of a cheating scandal. They say these guys are up there texting each other like they're in high school, whether that's true or not. I mean, you have uh, the FBI having Patsy's make bombs for the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. You have the ATF running guns into Mexico. You have the U.S. military guarding the poppy seeds out there, uh, out there in Afghanistan. And that's all well and good, well and keen. But if you text somebody an uh, answer, which I don't know if that's true or not, uh, you get purged from the military. Just any little minor offense they can do, that's what they're going to do. Not just this, but we see Obama coming out in the open saying that he doesn't want the CIA to control drones. He wants the Pentagon to do it. And I'm not saying I like either one of those guys controlling the drones because I'm not really for drones to begin with. But if you don't want to do the uh, the administration's dirty work, you will be purged from this military. So that goes out to all the, uh, the guys out there. We've seen the guys, the hashtag, I did not join to serve Al Qaeda. But you do have the flip side of that, the guy saying you will shut up and do what you're told. So don't be one of those guys. Be somebody good on the right side of history. Now we'll move to this video. Nigel Farage, Europe is run by big banks, big business, and big bureaucrats. We are run now by big business, big banks, and in the shape of Mr. Barroso, big bureaucrats. And actually, that's what these European elections are really going to be all about. It's going to be a battle of national democracy versus EU state bureaucracy. And now we move on to an InfoWars special report concerning the DEA's response to marijuana legalization. The recent decision to decriminalize marijuana in Colorado has got the DEA worried. Going down the path to legalization in this country is reckless and irresponsible. It scares us. But it seems what's really scaring the Drug Enforcement Agency is the potential loss of blood money. Just one day prior to the Senate hearing this week, court documents revealed the DEA was smuggling billions of dollars in drugs with Mexico's notorious Sinaloa drug cartel in exchange for information on rival cartels. This is just another strike against the DEA that's causing the general public to question the drug trade's real source. Attorney General Eric Holder refused to prosecute HSBC last year when the bank was caught laundering billions in drug money for Mexican cartels. If you do prosecute, if you do bring a criminal charge, uh, it will have a negative impact on the national economy, perhaps even the world economy. And I think that is a function of the fact that some of these institutions have become too large. And in 2011, banking giant Wachovia received no criminal charges after they were found to have laundered more than $378 billion in drug money for the Sinaloa cartel as well. But incredibly, as cartel money laundering banks are protected by the federal government, the DEA has threatened those same banks with legal action if they store cash for small-time legal marijuana businesses in Washington and Colorado. As InfoWars has said for years, the DEA at the highest level is nothing more than a smuggling and protection agency for cartels that work with major banks. Unfortunately, the federal government's relationship with dangerous cartels goes much further. High-ranking Sinaloa member Jesus Zambada Niebla recently admitted that the cartel had received weapons from the U.S. government for years under Operation Fast and Furious. While the Obama administration claims the operation was just to track guns into Mexico, Niebla revealed the weapons were to be used for war with rival cartels. 
Ironically, Wednesday's Senate hearing was focused primarily on drug cultivation in Afghanistan, where the arrival of U.S. troops in 2001 has led to record-level opium production. The New York Times revealed one of Afghanistan's biggest drug kingpins was on the CIA payroll. The Taliban finances much of its operations by selling opium, which is grown from poppies, which are right now being harvested. So here's the question. Why are American troops now helping Afghan farmers grow that opium? Back to this decision to legalize marijuana for recreational use at the state level. This is a bad experiment. It's a bad, bad experiment. And it's going to cost the United States in, in, in terms of social costs. What about the social costs of incarcerating millions of Americans for the victimless crime of purchasing drugs? Drugs the agency itself has shipped in the country. Studies show the decriminalization of marijuana for recreational use could lessen the demand for illegal drugs being smuggled across the border. So what is the Drug Enforcement Agency so afraid of? Well, as states are reclaiming the powers reserved for them, as granted by the Tenth Amendment, Federal agencies are scrambling to maintain their stranglehold on the massive profits they receive from the illegal drug trade and the prison industrial complex. And we'll end with some news that's very near and dear to my heart, that being my Second Amendment rights. Hollywood movie mogul Weinstein to make anti-Second Amendment film. Now this is Harvey Weinstein, the Hollywood producer. He's going to team up with Meryl Streep and make an anti-gun movie. And he's going to say that if you're a gun advocate after this movie, you're pretty much going to hate yourself. So I wanted to point out a few of Mr. Weinstein's uh, more popular movies, some of the more violent movies he's produced. So let's go ahead and take a look. Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill, Volumes 1 and 2. Kill Bill didn't have a whole lot of gun violence, but it did have some. Sin City, Grindhouse, Rambo, and Django Unchained. Pretty much every single Tarantino film, and that's just some of them. He has had plenty of other movies, and nothing against Tarantino, nothing against Robert Rodriguez. I've seen, Personally, uh, this list I have in front of me, I've seen most of these videos, uh, most of these films, so I'm not decrying violent movies, but if you say that uh, you're going to come out against people who make the weapons that you use in your movies for profit, for entertainment purposes. Well, I don't really understand your logic behind that, Mr. Weinstein, and also Meryl Streep. I hope that you would back out of this project because there's nothing good about it. So that's it for this segment of the InfoWars Nightly News. Stay tuned because we'll have Matt Shea on in a little bit. But right after this break, I'll tell you all the stories and the things you missed about our trip to the West Coast to document Fukushima radiation. facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. We're on the march, the empire's on the run, and the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution, InfoWarsStore.com.